What's going on YouTube? Bembo's back with another video. Ugh, I don't even know what the fuck I was gonna say. But another video back for you guys, and today I'm gonna be doing the Q&A from the car, you know, adding a little spice to the video. Nice day, after I get done recording, it's probably gonna go get the inside of my car wash because it's filthy. I always just get the outside wash. Maybe get a new aux cable. And that's really it. I got nothing to do today, man. I'm, I'm gonna go make a 1v1 video, a wager video. I know you guys are loving those, but let's get into this Q&A. I chose 15 questions. And I'm gonna go in depth with them, so let's go. So the first question is, who is your best friend in Optic? So everyone is pretty, is, is my friend. I mean, I don't really have like a favorite, um, but if you, if I had to, I don't know, I don't wanna say pick someone. Uh, everyone, I treat everyone equal, but I do hang out with Mike, Mike the most, and when Nate was here, I did hang out with Nate a lot as well as Mike. So I don't know, I, I mean, I don't really have favorites. I'm not saying favorites, but I do hang out with Mike the most. That is like my duo, that's the person I hang out with. It's my ride or die. We're like fucking Siamese twins. Next question is, ask Bose, who is your biggest inspiration? Well, definitely not the fucking lady riding my ass right now. She's definitely not an inspiration, but I have to say, I don't really have a specific someone who is an inspiration, but I wanna say anyone who works hard, uh, has a motive, has goals, and wants to achieve them and doesn't stop until they achieve them, and uh, has drive, doesn't give up, just someone who's level-headed, and um, yeah, I mean, that's really it, just someone who is a hard worker and loves to get things done and, uh, and uh, loves their craft. Is that, a good, is that a good thing to say? Next question is, hashtag ask Bose, what is your go-to drink? Uh, it really depends what's what's in the area. So if I'm like at a gas station or something, maybe I, my first go-to drink is that new blue cherry Gatorade. It's fucking amazing, it tastes great. I'll do a cherry Gatorade, um, a smart water. I, I don't have specific water, but I got a smart water last night, so that's why I said smart water. I just named a random one. So Gatorade, smart water, and I would have to say maybe a vitamin water. I can't really remember if my go-to, if I have anything else. I, I'm really into like smoothies, uh, ices, um, milkshakes, stuff like that, but go-to drink will probably be a Gatorade, vitamin water, or a, a normal water, probably. Next question is hashtag ask Bose. Are you in a relationship right now? The answer is no, I am not in a relationship, guys. Um, I know you guys were seeing that girl in my vlog before. Um, obviously, we were trying to work on things. Uh, we used to date a while back. Obviously, they didn't work, so now your boy's a, a fish in the sea. I don't know, man. I, I don't really want a girlfriend. I just want to kind of live my young age. I don't want to really be tied down. But then at the same time, yo, you kind of always want a girlfriend, you know? Someone you could just cuddle with, let her know what's going on, how you feeling, you feeling good, to make you feel better, to make you food, do your laundry, like, how could you not want a girlfriend? But yeah, man, um, I think I'm just too young for one right now. I want to live my life a little bit. My 21st is this year, you know? I'm trying to have a good time. I'm trying to live life. But of course, everyone would want that that person, just that that vibe around you, like everything was gonna be okay, but uh, I don't know. I don't really want one. Next question is, hashtag as Bose, what's one thing you didn't do in your life that still haunts you to this day? Um, I don't really have something like that because, it, but if I did have one thing I said, I would say I wish I would've just kept playing baseball, like, but then if I would've did that, I probably wouldn't have been in the position I'm in right now. You guys honestly probably wouldn't know who I am. If I, if I try to pursue that, because obviously I would have no time for gaming, but I don't know. I, I always thought I was pretty good in baseball. Well, I was above average, I would say. I'm not saying I was amazing, but I always thought I was pretty good, and I just wish I really, like, try to go somewhere with the talent, almost, I would say, but who know, everything happens for a reason, I would say, because if I wouldn't pursue that, I wouldn't definitely not be here right now, and I, obviously I love what I do, so I don't really have any complaints, but that would be the one thing I wish I could, you know, possibly try. Next question is hashtag ask Bose. Who is a better dancer, you or Hitch? See, now it's a really good question. It really depends where I am and who I'm dancing in front of because if we're like in an area where everyone's dancing, you know, there's girls around, maybe your boy Bozo will bust out a few moves. But if we're by myself, like, I don't really just dance. I mean, I got the, I can move. Don't worry, I, my hips could move, but I'm not really a dancer, but I got a little move. Like, if I'm just chilling, your music playing, everyone's having a good time, I'm just, you know what I mean? It's nothing too crazy. I don't really go ham. But Hitch is up there with moves. I'm not going to say he's better than me because I don't admit shit like that. But he's a good dancer. Shout out to Hitch. Next question is hashtag ask both. What is your favorite memory of gaming? My favorite memory would probably have to be champs. I really wish of Ghost. I really wish we could have won that, man. That shit still, that is something that does haunt me to this day is fucking champs because low key, 
Last year in Advanced Warfare, I beat the people who won the tournament. And then the year before that, Ghost, I, t I was up on the team who won it, and we should have won it, but I choked. Me and Nate did bad, man. Uh, that, I'm not going to lie, I think about that shit at least 100 times a week. I really wish I could go back and replay that time and just fucking dominate, baby. I would not miss a shot right now. <laughs> if they put me in that match right now, I promise you, I'd be holding on. I'd, be, I'd have $100,000 extra. I promise. I promise. Yeah, man, that shit haunts me to this day. That was such a good tournament. Good time. That was probably my favorite team of all time as well. I don't know, man. That was just a crazy weekend. Now, the next question is actually a really good one. It starts off, hashtag ask Bose. How did you really feel when Nate Shot started playing with Preston? Now, I, I really, like, I didn't know because I didn't know he will... See, I knew, like, Preston wanted to play with Nate, but I didn't know, like, they were gonna, uh, like, Nate didn't run it by me, because obviously it wasn't a big deal, he didn't have any intentions of, like, ditching me, um, obviously we talked about it, see, I didn't know they were gonna start, like, a series or anything, or what they were gonna do, so I was, like, kind of thrown off when I seen him upload it, I was like, are we still gonna play, or, like, like, because we were supposed to record that day, and we didn't, but then he uploaded a video of Preston, so I was, like, thrown off, and I'm like, oh, all right, I mean, it's not tripping, like, I, w I was honestly going to make a series with Seth and Pomage, maybe we were just Pomage, or just Seth will play, like, GB, same thing, but I, uh, I texted Nate, we talked about it, he was like, oh, no, like, I was just doing an another series with my channel, me and you were still doing it, so, yeah, I, re I mean, I talked to him about it, because obviously I was thrown off, like I told you guys, but it wasn't all a big deal, like, uh, I, I, it was n uh, clearly not a misunderstanding, no bad blood there. It was just, I was, I didn't know what to expect. Next question is hashtag Asbos, what is your goal in the gym? I mean, my goal in the gym, honestly, it's not like I want to become like super skinny or anything or none of that. I'm, I have, obviously I want to lose weight. I'm happy the way I am. I've lost weight. Um, and I just really want to just, I mean, I want to be at the beach with my shirt off. Not ripped, but I would say solid, you know, have that just damn that's a big ass dude you know what i mean <laughs> nah i'm just playing but i just want to you know feel comfortable with my shirt i'll be able to do you know, well i still can but i'm just self-conscious about it clearly but yeah i mean i just want to be able to walk around with my shirt off because if i can walk around with my shirt off my chick game goes up to a 12 you know i'm posting a picture on tinder with me with a shirt off like Next question is hashtag asbos. What is your favorite show right now? It's hard because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, what, you never watch Entourage? But I'm on season five of Entourage right now. That's probably my best show because low key their life is goals. But I do watch The Sopranos. That is another one of my favorite shows. So I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. So it's probably either Entourage or The Sopranos because those are the two shows we watch right now. But I, we watch, Entourage more, so I will go with Entourage. Best thing about TV shows for me is I get so connected to the character. If any of you guys have watched Sopranos, when Christopher got shot, I swear to God, I thought I was gonna cry, bro. I started tearing up. I'm not even joking. Like that was so sad. I'm like Christopher, man. This question is hashtag Ask Bose. Are you still getting an M3? Uh, I don't know, man. But I came with this term in my head. I'm like, obviously, ever it's good to save money, all that stuff, and but obviously, there's other things running on my mind, like what could be what I could be spending it on whatever but I, I want to drive something that makes me happy and I'm not gonna lie I fucking probably did get screwed in this car because I could I didn't have any SS on the on the lot I was gonna get the SS but they didn't have any on the lot and I probably shouldn't have rushed it but I did I was dumb and I got this car I mean it's not a bad car I like it it sounds amazing like none of that but I just want to buy something that's gonna be happy man I want to go out into the garage and be like oh I'm getting into this fucking dope ass Ashton or Mozzie or something like that man or an M3 something man I don't know I'm like this year I'm really I set my goal to I'm gonna get a Maserati like obviously like if I wanted to I could just it would be a crazy purchase I'm not gonna lie but it's just like I want to make myself I don't know I don't know I'm like the M3 would be I, I like the M3s but of course I don't know I don't know I don't I honestly I'm like confused about it that's why I don't know what to say but maybe probably I, I wouldn't be surprised if I get it during the summer or something like I don't want you guys to be surprised if you see me in another car by the summer just because like I don't know man I it's just I feel like ever since I found out I could have got screwed in this car my mentality changed and I'm like all right now I'm just gonna get something where I know I'm not gonna get fucked over and Next question is hashtag ask Bose and Bose scuff this year. Answer to that question is yes. Um, scuff is gonna be sending over some designs for me and I'm gonna go through them, let them know what I like, don't like. We'll get them fixed up. It's, it, it, it's gonna be a few months before the scuff comes out, but if you guys have any ideas, throw them in the comments, tweet me them. If you guys wanna make like replicas or, and tweet them to me like graphics, let me know. Maybe you, maybe I'll be lucky to choose yours. Well, maybe I'll help you guys out. I don't know, man. Um, maybe I'll do like a fan build, maybe something cool. 
but yes, there is gonna be an Embo scuff coming out. Um, I don't have pictures or anything soon. I haven't got that far, but it is confirmed. There is one coming out in 2016. Next question is hashtag AskBose. What's your vision of yourself in 10 years? How do you see yourself? Um, hopefully, obviously I would hope to be still doing this, a part of Optic, chilling with everyone in the house. I don't know if we'll be living together in 10 years. Um, something crazy like that. We'll probably be married or have girlfriends, maybe even kids. I don't fucking know. It's crazy to think 10 years. But if, if I'm not still doing this, which I hope I would be doing, um, maybe hopefully having a good job. Um, you know, getting paid well, living a good life, maybe have a, I don't know, a kid around 30 is probably normal. Maybe have a kid, a wife, a girlfriend, or just a girlfriend. I don't know. I really don't know. But hopefully, um, making a good income and, and living life to the fullest, hopefully. Next question is hashtag AskBose. Tell us about the business side of Optic. Now, the thing is, that I, I really can't obviously tell you behind the scenes things, guys, that we talk about. But... Hector, I, I can tell you guys this, Hector being an owner always comes to everyone who he feels responsible or can give him a good idea. Like there might be some things where Hector will only ask Big Timer, only ask Nate, only ask Mike, and there'll be some things like Hector asked me, you know what I mean, surprisingly. I, because I told Hex, like, come on, man, start asking me stuff. I want to help you out. Like, I can help you out. I told him that, and then he starts, like, shooting me texts to the side sometimes. I'm like, all right, he thought about me. But, yeah, there's some things, obviously, where I can't tell you, and then there's some things where Hex will only ask certain people. So he gets a lot of opinions. He has Dan Chacon who helps, helps him. So we got a lot of things going on, man. I'm super excited for 2016. And, yeah, we're out here on a grind. It's not only gaming, guys. Starts off with hashtag AskBose. Will you ever do a Chicago meetup? Question is, yes, I want to. I need a, I need a pre-plan. And he's be like, I'll give you guys a month, maybe a month or a few weeks to prepare for. But I don't know. Where should I do it? Where in Chicago? The city? Suburbs? I don't know. I, I, I can't think of a place. So if you guys are in Chicago or locally, maybe you want to fly out to meet me. I don't know. I don't know how we can do it. Maybe I can, like, rent, like, a cool little, like, place where you guys can walk up or meet me at we'll have like a table all signed stuff i don't know i, I gotta i gotta brainstorm it but all right guys so if you guys enjoyed this video remember to drop a like and remember to check out our awesome sponsor loot crate use code optic for 10 percent off in the description below i'll have everything down there make sure you guys check it out they hook us up with some dope stuff we support them and they support us so shout out to loot crate if you guys want again if you guys want to use any other codes they're all down in the, they're all down in the description below so shout out to loot crate again and thank you guys for all the support you guys are awesome and i'll see you guys later peace out boys